So, yeah, thank you, Toastmaster of the Day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today I am going to be talking about Pathways. It is what Toast, it is the Toastmasters educational program. While Toastmasters have a general goal of having people communicate their ideas and being more comfortable talking in front of groups, there are definitely various reasons. People, um, there are definitely several reasons people do have these um that there are several reasons why people want to communicate the ideas and toastmasters has tried to tailor the experience for those people um if you can look on the right here you'll see the 11 pathways in the pathways curriculum and just looking at the names you can pretty much guess what they do if you're if you're in the managerial if if you're in a managerial position, you might want to be a dynamic leadership pathways. If you just want to be more funny, engage in humor. But all of them, you can see how all of them still have the same goal of getting people to talk more. And that's the idea here. And, and that's all why we're all here. And we're all gonna have, we're all gonna like support each other through this. And that's what Toastmasters is for. And I think one, okay, I'll just show you. I'll show you how to select the path. And that's why I actually have the um, the website up. And the, this is why this is not full screen so I can switch between the PowerPoint and the website. So you can see both of them side by side. So yeah, let's go to select the path. Um, this is, you go to toastmasters.org. I believe, um, there are some differences from the PowerPoint, but they're still, they're still the same thing. You can go to Pathways. You can go to learn more to see all the 11 paths and clicking on each of them will just tell you more about it. They'll all have, a, they'll all have icebreaker as the first speech you wanna do. Usually you pretty much tell the rest of the club why you're doing this specific path, but I believe before all these 11 pathways is unlocked to you, you actually have to do a speed, um, an icebreaker, a general icebreaker to get everyone to know who you are. So yeah, you log into your account. I'm already logged in, but you usually find the login over here. And then you, um, you go to the pathways, um, welcome to pathways start page. And as a club president, and either me or Juan, the VP, can help you with this. You can go to the path selection yourself, or I can honestly just, if you want to, if you want to streamline guide through it, I can select a member like let's say Paul, I don't know, and then English, and I can go through the pathways with you. We can help you select the pathways together. But hold on. But if you want to do it on your, by yourself, just pathway after you log, logged in, pathway start page, and just go to continue path selection. The, if we go back here, you can see it says $20, but the first one is free um, on dynamic leadership right now. So that one was free, but each one is $20. So this is why I saying $20, but no matter which one you pick, if you want, you can either do the digital resource via Basecamp or do the printed uh, materials in the mail. I think the it will always be twenty five dollars, even if it's your first one. You this is an additional cost, and I'm pretty sure you can charge it to NIST as well. If you're a federal employee, I would have to uh, get some of my federal employees to back me up on that in the FAQ. So we'll get to that later. But yes. Um, you go to the um, you go to the um, select your path. You do select digital um, resources. You can just if you already know what you are going to do, um, like you already have an eye on a specific path. You can just pick one here, or you can take an assessment. There are eleven pathways. Um, there, yeah, there are eleven set specialization, and people can definitely suffer from choice paralysis. So you can just take an assessment to see, hey, um, yeah, you see, this is this is what I'm interested in, I believe. Yeah. This is what I'm interested in. And at the end of the day, 
it pretty much shows you like, okay, these are the paths we recommend for you. And again, if you need if you need me or want to help you, we we'll always email away. I will find a way to get you guys all these resources so you can look at this at your own pace. And once you open, once you find a path, the place you look at it is in the base camp. And in the base camp, uh, let me just hold on. Go to base camp. So in the base camp, you pretty much just see your curriculum and you go to path and learning and you go to dynamic, I'm in dynamic, dynamic leadership. And then you just see your, you see pretty much, I finished level one. I finished my understanding your leadership style, which I took, which I did about, what's it called? Speech drive. And my next speech is this. So this is how you open. It's a. Uh, it's pretty streamlined. There is a bit of a. Uh, I don't know what this is, but once you do that, like w once you're familiar, it's not that big of a learning curve. You just. It's just new, and I, I honestly find it to be very, very straightforward. But it, and oh, um, this um, certain things you want to do, like you want to enable pop-ups because if I click launch here. It actually launches as there are pop-ups. Yeah. So you see how it created a new web page. You want to enable pop-up, but we can talk about that another time. And oh, I'm pretty sure you know how to access NIST, um, our Toastmasters Club. You can you can go to the meeting agenda and sign up for a role. I think we all know how to do that, but if you need a um a refresher, I can go over that too. And I usually do that, the Toastmaster of the day usually do that in the beginning where they sign up for people. There are ways you can do that in the in the email we send every Monday and Thursday of the meeting of the of the week of the meeting. So yeah, there are definitely ways you can sign up other than going to the websites. But yeah, that's everything you kind of need to know about Pathways. I think a lot of the takeaway is like, yes, there are things to help you find a path. I can help you go through it. Juan can help you go through it. And once you start a path, it's pretty streamlined. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, Lisa. And based on what I know about Fawaz's speech, I'm not sure if he did it last minute or if you've kind of had something prepared, but I wouldn't have known the difference. And that's a compliment. I think even if I didn't know that you weren't, you weren't, I don't think you were planning on doing it today, but I wouldn't have known the difference. And that's definitely a compliment. So good job um, pulling it together at the last minute. The other thing I found helpful were your slides. And you went through them and you explained them a little bit at a time. And you didn't put a whole bunch of text on each one. You broke them down separate. So I think that your goodness, that your, I lost the word for it, your PowerPoint slides were well presented in that fashion. And it was also basic. So you walked us through, this is how you get to pathways, and this is how you get started. You didn't get into the details, and I appreciated that as well. And I've been with Toastmasters um, for almost a year and a half. And I kind of know the pathways, but it was nice for that reminder too. And to kind of keep in mind the difference between the paths. And I'm trying to think of something um, speech-wise, because I didn't pay so much attention to the way you delivered it as much as the content that you were delivering. Um, I'm trying to think of any improvements for the delivery to it. And I don't, one thing might be that it, somebody could say it might have been too many slides so maybe find a way of balance between giving a presentation and then giving the slides another suggestion might be to kind of introduce uh, kind of maybe introduce your experience with pathways or even m maybe how kind of how pathways might have benefited you and that might help us see the benefits of using pathways 
or maybe trick tips and tricks that you've learned with pathways to make it more personable. But overall, I, I really enjoyed it. And I think you did a good job. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it was impromptu and I don't know if it was practice ahead of time because I know you've been talking about doing an overview of pathways. So thank you so much for the information today.